Hello. Um, so I'm beginning to think seriously about how should Black try to get a playable middle game. The consensus seems to be that E6 and E5 barely um, don't lose by force. So they don't lose by force, but only barely. And um, so your choices are C6 and Knight C6. I was playing A6, but this doesn't work. C5 doesn't work. And basically, the refutation of all of these is the same. It's going to be Bishop B5. Um, you freeze all of these. And then when Black plays any move, Queen H5 is going to come. I was looking at... I was looking at this. We can do a bit of analysis here. Uh, we can freeze this. Bishop check. I looked at this one. And, um, you can take this, and I was thinking that, okay, well, I can give up the rook, right? Whoops, sorry. Um, I can give up the rook, right? Um, thing is, I was analyzing this and thinking, okay, maybe black can stay in the game. Thing is, that's pretty much unanswerable. Um, I mean, the, on the only way to not die seems to be this one. And then we can't even jump here anymore. So A6 just isn't working. Um, so, how do we play, right? This isn't easy. Um, we can play this. As long as the queen is here, we can push. Because uh, the queen defends here. So, the, the sack is not working. The sack would be white uh, exchanging rooks, exchanging one jump spell, and losing a piece. So, we're okay with that. Uh, now, I'm threatening to kill. Uh, white decides to sack a pawn. King h1 might be better. Um, I think you got to play aggressive. Oh, that's black here. Take this swan. And this threatens um, this. My opponent doesn't see it. And I, free I have to freeze the queen, because if I do this without freezing the queen, I actually lose. The queen is frozen, and... Um, this loses, so he should try. Maybe this one. Hang on. Queen is unfrozen again, and my knight is frozen. This might not even be good for me. Um, if he finds this, which is a bit counterintuitive, just to, um, as long as you freeze this. And uh, so I kind of was hoping to present this as a nice way that Black was able to uh, drum up some some play, but um, he just missed this. So maybe this doesn't work yet. Maybe I should be playing uh, Queen H4 instead. Mm, Queen H4 this kind of seems like it's forced. But I don't really see... Ah! We can play this. So I think Queen H4 might be the move here. Um, obviously there's 
you know, a lot I could be missing. Maybe instead of bishop here, what could, I don't really know what white could play in this position. I think in light of queen h4, it's not easy. This one. Anyway, um, we'll try and play a few. And um, the raiding really doesn't mean that much yet because, you know, there are people who sort of jump into games without fully understanding the spells. And lose like this. I did this on my first game. Um, and then I guess a lot of people don't stick with the game. So there are always people like that you can get points from. So the points don't really matter. Um, it's sort of like a, a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Where new people come in. They invest a little. And then they, you know, don't stick with it. Um, but, of course, the chess economy, I think it differs from uh, the regular economy in uh, in some important ways. Um, okay. Bishop c4, a6, there's this one. Bishop takes f7. I want to play this one. Now, I don't think he'll find bishop takes f7 as a 1491, but um, I'm still capable of losing to uh, 1400 rated players. Okay. Oops. I want to freeze here. Now, queen h5 could come. So I'll play this one. Um, and now it will be a trade of queens. Now, I should also note that rook, rook takes h7. I'll take here, and I'm threatening to kill. So that would backfire. Now, he will have to take... He could trade queens, or he could take with a bishop. Um... Thing is, it's not clear why he would want to um, use a spell to make an even trade. And then also, I'm uh, trading a knight for a bishop. The knight doesn't jump. So he has f one fewer jump spell and fewer pieces that can actually use the jump spell. Um, knight f3. I'll have to go king d8 uh, sooner or later. Hmm. Maybe this one. No, that was a blunder. I just blundered a piece. Okay. Tricky. I could lose this. You know what I should have done? I could still do it. Uh, put the bishop here. Oh! He doesn't have any freeze spells left. So, this wasn't a blunder, so maybe I could have gone king f8. I always assume they have one uh, freeze spell left. It gives me more options. Um, I think just to keep my position easy to play, 
I'll give up one of these spells for defense. I still have one to his none. And I hope that, you know, in a couple of weeks, I can uh, sort of get a better handle on the tactics involved and uh, put on a bit of an exciting show. Maybe get some other strong players. I'm still figuring things out, though. Now, if he moves the knight to safety, I'm just going to put the knight here and just, you know, really cramp his style. Okay. So, if for every free spell he uses, I use one, we're fine. So, he can take here, and I won't take back, I'll take rook takes. How does he prevent knight d3? Probably rook e3. Now I'm threatening knight takes f2. I don't know what I would do if I was white. So that was mate, because he's frozen and he can't freeze me, he can't do anything about this. Okay, on to next. Uh... Maybe we should try bishop b5 and freeze everything just to see what happens. I think I've played this guy on pie chess quite a lot. Now he can take c3 and, uh, and play knight takes e4. Then I probably go rook e1. If d5, bishop b5. So does he try f5?
some bishop g5 ideas in the future. But, you know, it's always possible that your opponent can just totally blindside you. So, uh, what would I do if I were black? Penny castles. I could play bishop g5, go for the queen, but I won't do that. Why make it massive? Because I would be giving up two pieces and a spell for the queen. Actually, it would be three. It would be knight, bishop, rook, and... Uh, It, it looked pretty dodgy. Here, white has a nice big center. Uh, the bishop pair. Um, a lot of assets. Maybe I could have done better than rook b1. I like to prep my attacks so that I get the most out of, you know, the pieces that I have. Could have played queen d2. Could have played h4. Could have pushed a pawn in the center. A lot of options. I think black is a bit busted. Um, you can give... This is really giving up too much. This is just... Uh, well... You got... Bishop and spell. For queen. Maybe it's not totally losing. If uh, knight c6, I might just go rook c5. Oh, okay. I can't. I'd be pretty unwise to take that. Uh, or would I? Um, I could take. He takes me. I take this. Maybe this is just simpler. Simplify. There's no count. Or oh, even have it. I think if Bishop G five and freeze it I don't know what I would do. Maybe you freeze a queen and play it. something. It's a bit odd. It's not really using the most of first move. Um, again, we can play this because, uh, well, if there's a problem with it, it's not bishop takes b5, it's bishop takes f7. 
Um, I'm sort of assuming that such a premature attack won't fly. I could play bishop b4 here, let him take, and then take here. Um, a spell for the exchange, but then um, like a knight move would threaten to take me in return, and not clear that that's all that amazing. Uh, might have made a mistake. Oh, no, I'm okay. Do this. Mm. Maybe h4 or queen d2. Oh, wait. I made a mistake. That was not good in the slightest. Oh, well. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that was bad. I just gave up a spell to make a trade that gets him active. This will be hard to win now. Maybe knight takes f7 wasn't quite the move. Um, I guess I don't think this is all that great, too, because he just gave a spell to make an equal exchange. Knight g4 isn't on the cards yet, because it's just rook takes up so. Start the win. I need to refresh. Seems like my move wasn't showing up. What happens? And I know the consensus is that this is okay for black, but I just want to see why.
I guess um, I might have like D65. Okay, this is probably just bad. I could try knight takes D4. If knight takes D4, queen takes G5. Um, if knight takes D4, bishop takes E7. Knight takes F3. I freeze the king. Let's see what happens. And even if he goes queen takes a free, I would have bishop takes g1, and that would win. So. The thing is, he can't freeze the knight and the bishop. Okay. Um, so I think Jamalo plays, you know, if you've got ZH in the name, he's probably playing a lot of Lee, uh, Lee Chess Crazy House. I think G6 might be the move that, uh, Needs. And how does Black get out of that? He just used his freeze spell. It's a very uh, tactical game. There's, there are possible fudges you could have, you know. Um, in Pente, um, there's a tournament rule so that. Um, one player, first player places a stone in the center. Second player places a stone anywhere. But then the tournament rule is that the first player's second move has to be, um, can't be too close to the first stone. Um, and so that keeps the game playable for both sides. Yeah, this isn't it. D six is fine. 
And now it's a question of how do you save the queen? There's no threat that you can make. I'd like to have this variant sort of figured out, you know? Like, just have a nice plan for black. You can get access. G6 is the only move that puts two. Um, blockers. So I could take this, freeze this, and then do what? Hmm. I guess it has to be G6 then. I don't really see anything that fantastic about white king. Just carry on. So I'm threatening to take the queen. It's not clear how great of a trade this is. Because if he takes me, I'll take him, he can take here. Although, my threat to take on a1 will be speedier. I guess I push E5 next. That should win a piece. Mm, this move is too slow. Let's see what Jamalo tries. It'll be interesting.
I wonder if I could try e5. Kind of uh, breaks positional rules because. Um, but then. Think about this is that he moved a uh, d pawn, which sort of breaks a tactical rule in this variant. Seems like an okay try. If it doesn't work, then we'll try something. Yeah, I think white's position is better. Now, if he takes the pawn, I'll take with the queen. Although, even if I make it through this game, I don't think I'll be playing 3e5 again. Very hard position. I'm going to try and castle. I guess there is a bit of a slide trap. He could take e5, takes. Um, knight takes e5, takes. He takes the queen and take the king. I feel like keeping stuff in the center might be better, but then this would have a bit of development. Okay. If he takes my knight, I'll take with the pawn. Are we just losing a piece here? Yeah, it kind of looks like. Taking my idea of taking with a pawn didn't really make any sense. Yeah, I'm just down a piece.
and a bishop too. So if he trades, then at least I'm down a knight as I'm down a bishop. Sort of getting uh, getting the hang of this because he didn't do what I wanted him to. I well, better do something, although I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this. Close to busted. That was just a dud move. Bit of a time scramble on our hands. Okay, we're threatening the queen. It's playing well now. Can we get a perpetual? Oh, okay. Well, it's better than losing. Um, we know that um, after d4, e5, I don't think that's that's the move. Maybe just continue developing normally. Knight takes d4, loses. Um, so I can do this. It prevents a bishop check. If, um... It looks like I'm losing a pawn, although knight takes d4, bishop c3 doesn't seem that fantastic for black. If e5, I'll go knight f3. I like white's position. I think it's worth a pawn to get you know, active pieces, especially in such a cutthroat variation. So he saves this. The problem is. He can't. Mm, mm, I think maybe I should have froze at f7 instead of at e7. Because now he has knight f6. Well, knight f6 would still lose the rook. Um, I think that's fine. Um, bishop check. I just made f1.
he can win this piece back. E5 might activate him a bit too much. Let's just do this. Let's keep this on and put it to some use, even though it will take some time. Uh, for him to castle queenside, because I might have like a really strong bishop takes a6. Oh. Bishop g7 did not work. When things don't go your way, just lash out. Hmm, this is starting to suck for me. So we're hitting the knight. Um, we're also hitting d7 once this bishop moves. Maybe bishop e4. This is a check. I guess he can trade the queens. Oh. Vicious. Now he can uh, trade for the... Oh, he's out of jump spells. Bit of a relief. Ah, okay, play. Do I need to kick that bishop right away? So, I don't think this is good enough, using a spell to just make a trade when there's no, um, no fantastic follow-up. Yeah, Black's pawn structure is a bit dodgy, that's true. Not dodgy enough to give a bishop a knight using a spell. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it keeps white in the game. I'm asking my friend if he's learned the theory on spell chess. He said, haven't learned the theory in regular chess. What could that freeze spell do? So, um, you know, material is equal, r roughly equal, but um, I just should be able to use the spells. The fact that he doesn't have a jump spell just means I'm going to be able to call the shots. And also, having one less freeze spell can hurt. My piece is, uh, oh, I can't cast it. How annoying. Um, my pieces should be doing a lot more. Oh, I'll just cast all manually. Bishop h2, I'll play rook d8. Nothing very fancy at all. Can always if he goes knight h5, not that big of a deal. I'd say knight h5, I could take it. Uh, so we'll keep the knight out of f5. Um, he's forgetting that he doesn't have a jump spell. I think uh, black can solve immediate problems. It's just a matter of getting a good game. Ooh. I think maybe I wanted to play bishop c4. But if he plays a6, I will... Uh... Actually, okay. My idea is if he plays a6, I'll do this. Oh, wait. Throws me. Alright, fair enough.
Could have tried E5. Why am I giving him b5 with temple? I waited at least until he actually played bishop c5 before moving the d-pawn. So now I'd like to play bishop g he can always play h6. If he plays h6, I think I'll just try h4. So in order to prevent uh, knight d4, I traded. I was expecting knight g4. If he plays knight g4 here, then to go king d1, take here, and the king is under threat. Um, so I think knight g4 was more consistent with everything else that he was doing. How do I want to get out of this one? I'm going to say, okay, you kind of have to take me. If you don't take me, I win your queen. Now, if it um, uh, takes, takes knight g4, I won't play queen h4 because that will lead to a, an endgame. Queen takes h4, I'll play queen g3. Maybe I take my knight instead. Eh, let's try it. Ah, uh, he can win this one.
show what Queen D2 was about. I'm going to say good games. Um, yeah, so I guess the um, a G6 move is okay. I guess, um, you know, people know a lot, but the, the theory isn't consolidated anywhere yet. I'm sure that'll change.